Guillaume Saint-Priest was the only one of the three men who appeared in court to hear the verdicts. Remy Fallis and Etienne van Halwen have avoided media attention since legal proceedings began two years ago, after they were featured in an Al Jazeera documentary. An undercover reporter from the network's investigative unit infiltrated a branch of Generation Identity in the northern French city of Lille. The far-right movement believes that Europe needs to be reconquered from what it sees as Muslim invaders. A former Generation Identity activist, Remy Faliz, was found guilty of incitement to terrorism and assault. He was given an eight-month jail sentence, suspended for 18 months. Faliz was filmed covertly at the group's Lille headquarters. He described his dying wish to drive a car into a crowded market popular with Muslims. Faliz's conviction for assault followed an argument with Arabic-speaking teenagers in Lille's nightlife area. Wearing plastic reinforced gloves, Faliz struck a 13-year-old girl. Charged alongside Faliz was Guillaume Saint-Priest. He was convicted of assault and given a three-month suspended sentence. He was filmed using pepper spray on the same teenaged girl that Faliz later punched. A third defendant, Etienne van Halwin, was convicted of assault and incitement to racial hatred. He was given a five-month jail sentence, suspended for 18 months. Van Halwin was filmed making a toast to the Nazi party in a bar with other far-right activists. The judge said that evidence from the Al Jazeera documentary played a key role in establishing the three men's guilt. This decision sends a clear message to the Muslims of France and around the world, but especially in France, that today we will not accept discriminatory acts perpetuated because of people's religion, and in particular those towards Muslims. Relations between the French government and the country's four million Muslims have been strained by a series of crises in recent months. Today, suspended sentences recognize the racist motive and the link with far-right ideology. They may fall short of what many Muslims here would consider justice for a racist attack on a 13-year-old girl because she was an Arab. David Harrison, Al Jazeera, Lille.